Hey you guys, how's it going? Today is just a regular old Wednesday over here um, and I am just about to get ready for the day so I thought that I would just film it. Um, I am just finishing up painting my nails um, and yeah I just thought I would turn on the camera here. We've got a bit of a mess happening in the background here and I went to clean it and then I thought you know what they'll understand. That right there that's not laundry that is clothes. Those are clothes that Bowie has already outgrown she outgrew her newborn stuff you guys within like 10 days of wearing them seriously and then yeah some of the zero to three stuff already doesn't fit her um it's just insane how quickly they grow um i'm gonna store it all you know just in case for the future um but yeah i really when they say they grow quickly they are not lying um but yeah how are you guys doing today I'm feeling a little bit strange. We found out last night in the city that I live in, or the province, I should say, um, we're basically going into like full lockdown mode again, which I know we're a little bit late to the party. I think a lot of other places have already done that, but uh, we're going into lockdown again and I get it. I just think it's really disappointing still. And I think it's sad for a lot of businesses um, and I, I'm i just so disappointed that I will not be spending Christmas with my family, like not with my sister or my dad and it, it is what it is. I understand it's to keep people safe um, and I really think that if they did allow holiday gatherings, there could be a lot of, you know, tragic after effects, so to speak. So I totally get it, but it's still disappointing. I, of course, have never spent a Christmas without my sister or my dad, so it's going to be weird, but we'll make the most of it. We will Zoom in the morning and do gifts still together and all that, but it's still sad. How are you guys feeling about it? What's happening where you live? Like, our new measures officially go into place on Friday or Saturday, I guess it is, and then um, are going to go all the way until January 8th. So it's just crazy. It's been a crazy year. Um, I never, if somebody would have told me in March that we'd still be doing this and in fact Christmas would be affected with our families, I would have thought they were crazy. Um, so it's just really disappointing, but I suppose it, it wasn't surprising, right? Um, the shade that I used right here, it's just like this really nice kind of cool toned mauvey pink. This is from expressy so it's one of like the quick dry ones um this is in the shade in the time zone i don't know if this is something you guys know about me if i've ever shared this with you but i paint my nails pretty much every two to three days i don't know why i just i always have i enjoy painting my nails it's like very relaxing for me and it's just kind of like part of my routine um and i also am just so bad that if uh any of my nail polish starts to chip even slightly I like completely take it all off um but yeah I enjoy painting my nails it's hard with Bowie with having a baby I feel like she literally knows when I have painted my nails because she'll start crying immediately um but the trick to it you guys is a quick dry top coat seriously if you get frustrated by painting your nails because you feel like you can't do anything for a while get a quick dry top coat it, they work so well i've tried so many and a lot like they're i think they're all basically the same um i usually just buy whatever's on sale but yeah it's like you do your polish two or three coats put on your quick dry top coat and you're good to go like you need to give yourself a couple minutes and then you're good to go I also like to do this, paint my nails and then get ready because I find I can avoid hitting them while I am doing my makeup. It's it's quite a science, you guys, okay? We are still in my little beauty room that I'm normally filming in that you guys are used to seeing. I'm just facing the other way. You guys are used to kind of seeing this backdrop area, you know? And I got this cool little ring light dealio. It's a little tripod stand. I found this on Amazon, you guys. It was like $25. It's awesome. I'm even excited just to have it to take like photos and that kind of thing. So 
yeah, I think it's a nice little purchase. I'll have that one linked down below. Oh, and you guys, I also started like an Amazon store thing because I am an Amazon lover, which I, you know, I know there's a lot of mixed feelings when it comes to Amazon. Um, but yeah, if you're curious about what I like from Amazon, I do have a little storefront that I will link. And I think I also will film a um, Amazon favorites video. Um, and before you come for me, I really do shop local a lot. And if you follow me on Instagram, you would know that. Um, so I feel like there's a way to kind of do both and have a good balance. But anyways, I'll link that down below because guys, I'm on mat leave. I got a lot of time on my hands. I find some good stuff on Amazon. Um, anyways, though, so let's get ready for the day here. Um, like I said, we're not doing anything today, you know, hashtag lockdown. Um, we're just spending the day at home. But for me, if I don't get ready in the day, I just feel so sluggish. And um, I like to just add a little bit of something to this situation. And it just makes me feel good. Um, and just like, I don't know, my day just is set up a little bit better. It's already 10.45 here. Um, this is typically when I get ready, maybe a little bit earlier, but um, Bowie is usually sleeping around this time. My mirror is right here, that's why I'm looking over here. Um, but yeah, Bowie is usually sleeping at this time. She is still only two months old, nine weeks old, and so we don't really have much of a routine yet. Like she basically just sleeps when she sleeps. Um, but I'm really trying to get her a little bit more regulated because it would really help my life out. Um, I'm using the Derma Blend Cover Care Concealer. This concealer is phenomenal, you guys. I have the shade 15N. Um, I like to put it on my chin where I have some like discoloration. You just need a little bit of this stuff too. And in my eye area, not getting much sleep these days, you know, just with a baby. My eyes and my eye area looks so red and tired. And so I like to, you know, concealer's my friend is what I'm trying to tell you. And a lot of days I skip any sort of like foundation and you can see that I kind of am just spreading this concealer, the remnants around my face and it, and it's enough. It's, it's enough. I'm just filming this on my iPhone too, if you notice. So I hope it's okay. I feel like if sometimes I can just do this setup as opposed to do the big camera and lights and stuff, I'll be much more inclined to film and just I just, I love casual videos. Like for me, I love watching just casual old videos, um, just seeing people's real life. And I think this is, you know, hashtag relatable. Oh, hello. My makeup is done, you guys. My aunt called and I finished it as we were chatting on the phone. So that's just real life, okay? That is what happened. But I'll fill you in on what I did. Oh, and here's Bowie. She woke up from her nap. So there's just a lot going on. A lot going on on this fine day. Here you go. Look at all these little scratch. Do you see this little scratch on her nose? You guys, I cannot keep up with her nail filing. Like her little nails are like little daggers. For my makeup though, you guys, the Derma Blend Concealer. It's very simple. Urban Decay Powder, just, you know, to kind of set things in place. The L'Oreal Bronze Please Bronzer. This was limited edition. It's so good. Um, for a blush, I used this Urban Decay Afterglow blush. I absolutely love it. It is this bright fuchsia shade, just like a nice light dusting. I skipped highlighter today. I used that same bronzer in my crease, and then I used this older palette from NYX all over my eyelid. This just kind of like mid-tone bronzy one. Bowie, you stinker. Um, and then I used, uh, for mascara, this L'Oreal Air Volume one, which I don't love, but it's okay. Um, and then also the It Cosmetics Superhero one, which is a really, really good one. So that's what we did to get ready for the day. Um, and what do you need to do to get ready for the day? Do you need a new diaper? Do you need a new diaper? Hi. So yeah, so for us today, we are going to watch The Bachelorette. It was on last night. 
and I watched it last night, but I wasn't really watching. I have a very bad habit where there's stuff TV plays, but I don't watch it, and then I have no idea what happens. So I'm going to rewatch that, and then the same thing will probably happen because I'm going to pack as I watch it. Um, we're moving next week, you guys. I can't believe it. We've built a house, um, and I'm so excited. I am. Um, I have such bittersweet feelings about it. I'm a very like. I get I can get very sentimental and nostalgic and we've lived in this condo now for five years and you know it's where we got engaged and it was our first home together and it was Bowie's first home and all that kind of stuff so I'm so excited for more space and for like a big house we are definitely at capacity here but I am I'm sad to be leaving it's gonna be definitely bittersweet um definitely more sweet um but yeah so I guess that is today's video. I'm sorry that the get ready with me was kind of not getting ready with me, um, but I have enjoyed catching up with you guys a little bit. Um, I hope you're all doing well. I hope that you're all trying to, you know, find some hope and positivity during this crazy time because it's hard, right, bow girl? Right, little stinker? Uh, make sure you guys are following me on Instagram. I post a lot there. I really appreciate your guys' support. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for watching and all that great stuff. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.